chanting free Palestine as they marched around San Jacinto Plaza. According to Palestinian authorities, 4,000 people have been killed in Gaza and more than 13,000 have been injured since the beginning of the war. Protesters telling KTSM they do not stand for violence against civilians in Gaza, also calling for humanitarian aid. One man from Gaza speaking to KTSM. I am from Gaza. My family spread out through the entire Gaza Strip. So there is no place anywhere in the Gaza Strip that I don't have relatives. Even if I don't have relatives, just seeing those babies and those children being decapitated and destroyed under the rubble, it is not something that one can stand silent and stay quiet about it. Meanwhile, the border crossing between Egypt and Gaza is open today, allowing needed aid to Palestinian territory. More than 200 trucks with 3,000 tons of aid have been waiting for days, but only 20 trucks were allowed in. An amount aid workers say is insufficient to address the humanitarian crisis. The Hamas-run health ministry said five hospitals have stopped functioning because of fuel shortages and bombing damage. In the meantime, this morning, family of two hostages from the U.S., a mother and a 17-year-old daughter from Chicago is celebrating their return. The two were released last night. Hamas video appeared to show them being handed over to the Red Cross somewhere in Gaza.